and hello there. Welcome, everybody. We have a hooligan. We have a Pacific. <laughs> we have a Mandalorian. And oh, my God, I must have been crazy. I got Arl in here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what can I say? What can I say? <laughs> it is what it is, right? <laughs> yep, yep. Did you, did you see my entrance theme that uh, Coach was not to make? I love it. Oh my gosh, Clash of the Titans, y'all! That is my movie. Did, did you did you like the Skeletor? I hate you all. Yes. Thank you. And you yes. notice I had to make sure he put Waffle House because yes. you can't be Southern and not like Waffle House. I do love Waffle House. See? I do get some Southern points for that. I do love Waffle House. It's them other two things we have to discuss later about. No! We no! And, and, and grits. Uh, yeah. No. My late husband used to say, you got to be part Yankee. You've got to be because you don't like grits or sweet tea, woman. What is wrong with you? And I'm like... Well, I'm uh, not. I, my experience with grits is you got to put some butter and cinnamon into it. Cinnamon, Voila. really? Maybe uh, sprinkle a little. You, can, <laughs> you could use cinnamon sugar, but I, I have to cut back on my sugar. So just uh, I, I take your word for it. <laughs> I do. So, Arwen, we got you here. Thank uh, you for coming. Thank uh, you for having me. Uh, you're you're my second guest to come on, and I appreciate you do showing up. Oh, thank you. But now we're going to turn the spotlight on you, uh -huh. and everybody here is going to want to ask you some questions. Okay. Mainly about what makes Arwen tick. What is the YouTube lady that we all know and come to love? <laughs> Good. Oh, these are gonna be loaded questions. Yeah, uh, yes, yes. But uh, right. we'll we'll start Mike, and then we'll go Cash, and then uh, Mando Mike. Okay. So Mike Pacific, you can go first. Ask away. <laughs> hey Mike. Well, well, Arwen, it's great to be able to talk to you. I know we haven't talked very often, but my first question to you is, what's it like being on this? platform that we're all a part of on youtube for you uh, in your own personal experience wow um it is wonderful i i want to say that first off i love it 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 brought me out of a very dark place it gave me friendships and relationships and all kinds of things that i just wasn't expecting and so yeah it, it is wonderful um you know i was kind of came into it with rose colored glasses and and learned fairly quick that you know it's it's life wherever there's humanity there's going to be light and shadow but you you take that and you make with it what you what you will and yeah i mean it it's been a very positive experience for me and and i and i do i i i enjoy it i, I would not be here if i did not genuinely enjoy it because Damn it, life is too short to spend your time doing something you don't really love to do. And I really love to do it. So, awesome. yeah. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> I like Cash. it. Yes. Um, don't be shy, Cash. Don't be I'm shy. not shy. I've talked to Arwen at least a few times. <laughs> okay, so I must ask, Arwen. Uh -huh. I've known you for a little while now. Mm -hmm. Has Daryl ever done anything that has really ticked you off? Daryl, yeah, uh, my my twin, my brother from from another mother, Daryl. Yes. Okay. A anything to really tick me off? No. Oh wow. I oh. think I've done things. To, I, I ended his stream one time in midstream <laughs> by accident, <laughs> and he swears he wasn't pissed, but the look on his face for a full minute was just like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. But no, he's never done anything to, to when we say we're wonder twins, we are. We okay. we are we have so much in common. He really is like a brother to me. He even looks kind of like one of my brothers. So no, he's <laughs> he's never done anything to piss me off. No. Okay. As, <laughs> so I'm, I have to ask because I know 
uh, Arlena likes to tease me about stuff. Has Arlena ever done anything to tick you off? Oh, God, no. And even if she had, I'd be too damn afraid to say so. Arlena, really? my ass. <laughs> Arlena's a Marine, y'all. No, yes. she is. She's my sister. Okay. She is my sister. And, and I adore her. I love her. She is outspoken. She is in your face. She is. She is real. And, and I, she is yep. everything that I, honest to God, everything I wish I could be. I'm a marshmallow, y'all. I'm like, I want everyone to get along. I want everyone to play nice. That's why she's the spice. Of <laughs> Whereas she is Semper Fi, do or die. She and is. And I can't what makes the grass grow. Yeah, I adore that about her. But no, she's never done a thing, a no thing good. to piss. Neither one of them. Neither one of them. Yeah, they're great people, y'all. Great people. Yeah. Well, I guess my question is... Uh, how much did Phil have to bribe you to get on here? <laughs> <laughs> he promised me no grits and no sweet tea. And I was like, buddy, you got a deal. Yeah. <laughs> Those things are for me and I will be there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess, I guess I do have a real question, but first I do want to, I do think this is our first time actually talking to each other. So first off, it's nice yes. to meet you. Since and you. And you. I think we've only really interacted on Twitter over my, ramblings of an enlisted man <laughs> which by the way do not reflect that of the department of defense for legal okay. reasons but i guess i'm just curious where did the name come from arwen Avalon? oh okay that's an interesting question um it's it's actually it was a spiritual name of mine because i'm a little mm -hmm. woo-woo my spirituality <laughs> i'm i'm what you call i'm too pagan for the christians but too christian for the mm -hmm. pagans you know, I, I kind of walk my own path in that regard, um, even though I do consider myself a Christian, but I still have my woo-woo side. Mm -hmm. And I I wanted something that really resonated with kind of my soul, if you will. And it's going to sound cheesy, y'all, but it is what it is, right? Yeah. And I, it, it's it's actually pretty simple. I, one of my favorite characters in the world is Arwen from Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. um, again, she's one of these iconic characters that, I would like to be, but I'm not, <laughs> you know, yeah. she's graceful and she's elven and she's a princess and she's all these things. And then there's me, but I love the name and I, I liked the spelling with a Y because it kind of, it was a di um, differentiation. Yeah. I don't know it's if I'm saying that word right. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and you know, it's so it, it, it's my own twist on the name, if you will. Um, mm -hmm. Even though I've had people say, you know, that's how you spell Arwen in Welsh for guys. And I'm like, okay, well, okay. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> and then Avalon, I have always loved. And I've um, really started studying about the ancient Isle of Avalon, the healing Isle of Avalon from the Arthurian legend. Mm -hmm. And it said that is that the, the island of Glastonbury in Wales is what was mm -hmm. known as, you know, Avalon, the actual Avalon. So I just put them together and I just, it clicked. Mm -hmm. And then when I came on YouTube, I'm like, you know, I, I need to make a YouTube account. Yeah. So I did. And it's just kind of become my name. You know, there are people who know my real name that they're like, that's not you. You are Arwen. To me, you will always be Arwen. So that's kind of how that was born out. And uh, yeah, I, yeah. I tend to keep it. <laughs> and y'all have to excuse me if my voice goes a little ragged. I am. I was sick all last week. I am way better now. 300%, but there's still some stuff lingering. So if I sound a little rough, I apologize. Yeah, I some, guess it's some people here like it rough. I'm not asking <laughs> the name, but you know. Uh, it okay. is what it is. It yeah, is it is what it is. is. I, I'll be honest, the way you spelled your name, I always thought you might be Welsh. Well, I mean, I I could have some. I, I know that a, a huge part of my ancestry is Scotland, in, a little bit English, and Irish. Scottish and Irish are the, the big, big mm -hmm. parts of of both sides of my family. So I, I, who knows? I, I could have some in there. That, that's That's three nationalities and Mike's going to get on me after this, but there'll be three nationalities that, you know, if you go out in the moonlight and you get moonburn. 
<laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, when you know, you know. Well, me and Mike have this thing where it's Fourth of July, and you know we celebrate the Independence Day. You know, uh-huh. we kicked the British out twice. You know. <laughs> Gosh, here we go again. Yeah, here, here, here we go. You're repeating that episode of Pop Talk. Well, we kicked them out. What can I say? Can, you, know, you know, just so yeah. you know, Arlen, you know, I pick on you in the chat when you're in there and when you're on the live stream. Uh-huh. But, yeah, you, these guys here, they abuse me left and right. You, you wouldn't believe what I He started with. it, though. Arlen, <laughs> you abuse so. us, my friend. You abuse it. us. Uh, Don't pay attention to that. No, that's my brother's <laughs> fault. Trust me. Trust me. Uh, I, 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 I'm a saint. I'm a saint. I'm a saint. You're a saint. Yeah. <laughs> no, not even close. Beware uh, that lightning strike, y'all. Beware. That's it. right. Yeah, this is the man who will tell people to go watch Caddyshack too, and then laugh about it. Oh so. yes, Arwen, have you ever watched Caddyshack? Don't Shack watch too? that movie, Arwen. The second one, I if I have, it's been so long, I don't yeah. really remember it. I remember the first one, Good. but I don't remember the yeah, second. The first one. Maybe, maybe one day we'll have a no. live stream and we can <laughs> no. watch it and discuss it. Arwen, you're welcome to be there, and we'll watch. And I'm going to get some more people that haven't watched. Don't Caddy shake Shack. that hand, Arwen. Like right Never here. shake <laughs> that Caddy hand. Shack too. I, I mean, uh, Mando Mike. Yeah. See? So, see, there's two people that, you know, yeah. haven't. I'm still don't recall and one treading hasn't. carefully. But <laughs> for me, know. I'm also trying to figure out, like, you get when I should do it. You know, if I were to decide to do it, I'm not saying I will, but I'm also saying not saying that I won't, because uh-huh. I, uh, I don't know, I guess, especially with work being changing their operating hours and how they're having to work a little bit later, He's it's still possible that I'll, <laughs> yeah, let's put it this way, it's still possible that I'll either make the best decision in my life or the worst one if I were to decide to watch Caddyshack and Caddyshack <laughs> That's and I agree with Pat Awanabe. Friends don't let friends destroy brain cells. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> the back tube with Arlena and Arwen that is known to damage brain cells. Oh I am a victim oh of damaged brain cells. Oh wait, oh, wait and a we're tame on there compared to Sugar and Spice. <laughs> I haven't seen you guys the Sugar and Spice show going. Uh, oh, going. you're missing out. It's entertaining. <laughs> no, I've seen it, but I haven't seen him do it in a while. Oh, uh, well, because, you know, she she was over in England, and then she's been back, and then she took another week off. But we're uh, we're, we're firing it back up on Wednesday. Oh, this cool. Wednesday. Yeah. Cool. Poor Jester. I hope he recovers. And, <laughs> you know, I'm sure he will. Uh, uh, Jester, uh, a lot of V8 juice, uh, maybe... Uh, some herbs and spice that will get you back in the, you know, yeah. But then again, you might have to go through that whole thing all over again, you know. But I don't think he'll mind. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, I said, when she goes over there, if you, you know, I don't know where they were staying, but you can use the shade and you can send signals, you know. Uh huh. Three, three, three snaps of the shade tells me that he's endangered. <laughs> No. He's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, I think he's fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna ask you the big question. Okay. You, are you Uh-oh. ready? You I'm ready. For this? And this is gonna shock people. Okay. Oh, is it? We have uh something we share in common. Uh, we're cat lovers. Yes. Okay. You have me beat by times maybe ten or twenty, oh, maybe God. thirty. But yeah, we both love cats. We're yes. cat people. Uh, yes, no. I've definitely so, kept yourself. And what got you with your, let's say, uh, your cat personality, and your and and your cats? Tell us about your cats. Okay. Oh God. Oh my cats. <laughs> it it's oh my cats. All right. Uh, I'm sorry. My brain just broke. <laughs> It's okay. I, 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 I do have a lot of cats. Um, 
I have more than I more than I should. Okay, more official than- number. No. <laughs> we're, we're gonna make real quick side bet. I'm taking the the upper. I'm going fifteen and up. Okay, you're that's yeah, that's accurate. Am that's I close? Accurate. Yeah, you are. You're okay. You're, you got the rest. Just of you say guys fifteen and up. Okay, fifteen and up. But to be <laughs> fair, some of them are little. Some of them are, are kittens that are are have been claimed and are going away. So it, at least five of them will be gone soon. Oh, yeah. It is sad, but you know I've gotten to where hell I can't even name half of them anymore. <laughs> it's like God, but. Um, I've, I have always been a cat lover, um, ever since I was little, because my first, well, my first real pet that was mine was, was actually an Angora rabbit was a bunny. And I loved that bunny. I named it Sweetums. It was fluffy and solid white and kind of small. And I adored him to death and he got sick and died. Uh, you know, you're four years old. It's your first experience with loss with a pet. And I didn't understand it. I didn't know where, why it wasn't he coming back, but you know, time heals all wounds. And then my parents got me, um, a, a, a Persian kitten, uh, the, the chinchilla Persian, the ones that have the normal faces because the ones that have kind of the smushed faces, beautiful animals, but they do have a lot of breathing problems. The, right. the pure breed, the regular Persians have a lot of breathing problems. So they got a chinchilla Persian, so- which has the normal face. So they're basically like the pugs of the cat world is what I'm hearing. Yes. Yes. That's that's exactly right. And I had that cat. I was, I think five when I got him and I was in, gosh, I was in college when he finally died. So he was with us for a long time. And of course I, that started my love affair with cats because he was just, he was cool he, you know, was affectionate, but at the same time, you know, you, you got to feel like you've earned a cat's love. And if they yeah. love you, they will love you forever. And then we got more cats throughout the time and we've had dogs, but I just gravitated toward the cats. And so I've had them all my life and I love each and every one of my cats. Um, You know, like I said, the kittens are going to go. And then I do have some older kittens, which some of them are, are going to be adopted out too, just because I don't have the facility to take care of as many as I have, like I want to. And, and I don't have the funds. And so for them, as well as for me, some of them won't be rehomed. Gotcha. But mm-hmm. I do love my, they are, they're like, they become my children. They really do. And mm-hmm. I lost one last year. He was um, 12. And he was one of my big black cats. I have two black cats and he was one of them. And he was, you know, I named him, we named him Cisco after my favorite captain of Star Trek ever, Captain Cisco. And yeah, when I lost him, I was devastated, devastated. But, you know, with, with life comes death and you do what you got to do. I just lost a cat a couple days ago, had her for about nine years. Yeah. The loveliest cat, well behaved, loved everybody to death. Oh. Uh, yeah, broke our I'm heart. So sorry. I know. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, most of the family was attached, but more so my mom. Uh, she took it hard. And then I said, okay. I know some people might say it's too soon, but too, it was too much sadness in the house. Mm-hmm. I said, let's go and get a cat. Mm-hmm. So we went to our local sh- a local shelter by us, mm-hmm. and my state, by the way, is the only state is a no kill. We That's have no kill. Awesome. Here. Uh, they actually go as far as North Carolina to bring cats and dogs into our state because down there they, you know, unfortunately they have to. Yeah. Where my state, we're a little bit uh, smaller. And I don't want to say richer, but we are. You a can afford different. to be nice. Dupont. Okay. That's all I can tell you. Dupont. Dupont. Okay. So, yeah, we went to the shelter, and as soon as we got in there, there was one cat, and immediately they had like cubby holes. They don't have cages there. I don't like cages, mm-hmm. but they have cubby holes, 
and this one cat came out and instantly took a liking to me and my mom. And my oh. mom's like, that's it. I don't need to know anything about her. She's coming home with me. Yeah. And that's it. That's how it works. And two seconds later, my mom turns around. And, you know, there were some cats. There was about like eight or ten cubby holes. Uh, some of them cats couldn't be bothered. Just keep on. You know, I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy here. Leave me alone. But there was two kittens. One kitten was on the bottom shelf and one was on the top. The bottom one was like, I don't care. The top one was like scratching at the uh, the door, so the lady let her out and immediately ran to me and my mom. And oh. my mom said, "Okay, we're taking two. Yeah. Uh, so mm -hmm. we have one that's home now, and she was a little shy. I had her for about two days now, but tonight, a little excited, excitement in the house. The cat's actually not shy anymore. She is wandering the house, learning. Good." Her. So I was very happy because I was told it could take up to two weeks to uh, six weeks, sometimes more. But this cat really bonded. She's out of her shyness now. That's and awesome. Tomorrow, the kitten, we have her picking her up. She had to go for her surgery for her chip and her. she's getting fixed. Uh, Good. Neutered. So mm -hmm. busy day, busy day for everybody. But, uh, well, I'm glad. I'm really glad. And you know what? It's it. You know, if people say it's too soon or not soon enough or what, whatever, that's up to the individual. Mm -hmm. That is always up to the individual. If y'all were ready to go get another cat and you, you found two that you could bless with a home, fantastic. Yeah. I, I, that's awesome. I, I after the second cat, I had to get my mom out of there because you know if my mom <laughs> had her way, she would break every cat and animal out of there. Uh -huh. yeah. So I can I deal that. with one to two cats. Two cats is fine. But uh, before this one went, the my other cat, uh, we had already discussed about getting a second cat, a kitten. You know, mm -hmm. uh, but we waited, and I and I kind of regret that we did wait. I felt that maybe we had a kitten sooner. You know, I, I'm not saying she could do anything for the older cat, you know, but she would have been, when we had her, we had a boy cat and he kind of showed her the ropes. Mm -hmm. So every, mm -hmm. when she, as she was growing up, she took on a lot of his behavior, not all of them, because cats are very individual, but they mm -hmm, learn they behavior. Are. Yes. So um, the hope was that she would pass some, not all of it, but some of her behavior off to the kitten. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, the one cat that we have now uh, is called Cookie Monster, but me and my mom agreed we're not calling her no monster. She's Cookie. 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 That's yep. cute. And then uh, the kitten is called Peaches. So, oh. <laughs> when I have pictures, I will uh, share pictures. Uh, okay. But yeah, everybody thinks Phil McCracken is this old, grumpy old man that, you know, Bill McCracken has a weakness, and that is cats. Cats are my weakness. Cats. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So I hear you. I hear you. They are uh, special. Getting a little emotional here. I'm getting emotional. I need tissues. Tissues. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I, I've had cats myself throughout my life, and it's true. You don't choose the cat. The cat really does choose you. As yes, mm -hmm. you know, you go along. The cat goes, you're my person. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Oh, there's Darwin, Twizzy. Darwin, your, your uh, handler's here. My <laughs> handler. <laughs> my brother from another mother. Hey, Daryl. <laughs> yeah, I honestly couldn't help but be reminded of my sister's cat that she's had probably for maybe 10 years. And... Mm -hmm. The story with her is that probably sometime during fifth grade, my sister decided to take up piano lessons. And on the very first day, there was just this stray tabby cat that's just been hanging around for who knows how long. So with permission from the piano instructor, she was able to take it home. And of course, the cat was scared at the time because who wouldn't be? Mm -hmm. And... My sister named her Mittens because she had white paws and the rest of her was kind of mixed with like Odie green and black with some gray. Mm -hmm. 
and she's pretty much was living on her own for quite a while and she was still pretty young but she knew how to hunt let's just say like she could take care of herself and here she is about 10 years later spoiled little house cat but i can't help but think that maybe that cat's immortal like it's not that it won't die but it's just that it can't die Mm -hmm. well they they do seem like they have died lives i mean yes they really some of them really do and the the majority of mine right now are flame point siamese that's mm -hmm. probably the bulk of my cats yeah that's what they are with with the sky blue eyes and they just they are all so precious i i love mm -hmm. them but i i will be glad when some of them do you know go to their their permanent homes because you know someone else who doesn't have a cat can enjoy them so but yeah <laughs> Have you, or are you, or have you ever thought of being a, what they call it, bolster for the cats, for the, like, uh, shelters and stuff like that? Um, well, I have, mm -hmm. but I would have to have a guarantee that it, you know, 10, 12 weeks. Yeah. But see, my problem is I get so attached to them. I, I'd be afraid I'd I'd be the one who would end up wanting to keep off a foster. Oh, <laughs> See, my, <laughs> my state, even when you adopt a cat, they'll the they support the <laughs> SPCA, I guess that's the term they use. Uh mm -hmm. but they'll help you out. They'll deliver cat food, dog food. If you can't afford it, the dog food or the cat food, but you would want to keep your pet. Uh -huh. They'll give you the. They'll give you that. They'll give you the cat food and the dog food, so you can keep your pet. That's or amazing. If, if you're elderly in my state and you have pets and you can't get the, you know, go out to get the food, mm -hmm. they'll bring it to you. I don't know if George operates like that or not. I wish they did, because mm -hmm. um, that would be tremendous. Because because yeah, they are expensive. If, yep. if you keep up with their vet care and you keep up with their cat food and their litter and everything else, you know, they, they can be expensive. They, that is the one thing if anybody ever says, you know, what do I need to know about being a pet owner, a responsible pet mm -hmm. owner? I said, money, money. Yeah. Yes. The, the affection and the, the time you spend with them, of course you need that. But at the end of the day, you need money. Yes, you do. Because you have to be able to support them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in my state with the shelters, uh, there are some private, but the SPCA still isn't, you know, overall in charge of them. Uh, yeah, they have drives and everything. And like I said, we're, I don't want to brag, but we're the corporate capital of the world. So all your major corporations headquartered here in Delaware. So, mm -hmm. yeah, they'll donate money. Local people donate money. Uh, the new shelter that's about... 20 minutes away from my house didn't even know it was built five months ago wow uh they have everything was uh donated out of pocket it's a huge place uh nicely set up wonderfully mm -hmm. and like i said they'll pay people from their facility to go to like north carolina uh, we have too many cats and they're a kill state so yeah. they'll go down there pick whatever cats they can Normally, they'll bring up like 20 or 30 with the cats. For some reason, there's a lot more dogs out there that people don't want for some reason. And they get more dogs that you would believe, wouldn't believe. But financially, you know, they can afford to do all that type of stuff, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, again, we're a small state, but people out here, you know, my first thing when I paid for my cats and had everything done, my mom was like, uh, give them a donation. So, of course, you got to, you know, I'm a good Italian boy. I got to listen to my mom. Mm -hmm. Help again. Are you good, though? Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> just, just remember this cash money. <laughs> Italians always do it better. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> always Somebody do it better. that. 
Hey, Somebody except, clip that. <laughs> except for that crazy lady from your state. I don't know what's up with California, but uh, yeah. it has a lot of problems. But I've I mean, it's the state of California so. where it's <laughs> yeah. and honestly, certain yeah. parts are better than others. I'm just yeah. glad I don't live in yeah. San Francisco, especially. Oh, later. yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> I, I do have some hatreds towards some states, mostly northern. I am it's shocked, the, Phil. Yeah, particularly shocked. New Jersey. <laughs> There's nothing good from New Jersey. And anybody in this area, even neighboring states, will tell you, if you're from New York, you have a despise for New Jersey. Pennsylvania, despise for New Jersey. Yeah. You know, Jersey, know. trust me, you don't want to deal with them people can't drive. <laughs> and I'm not joking. They cannot drive. My. And, yeah, we try to keep them. We stand on guard to try to keep them from crossing that river. We do all possible. Oh, my gosh. We keep your state safe by keeping them in that state. <laughs> yeah. You're not keeping them yeah. safe enough, Phil. They still come to North Carolina. I know. What can I say? There's a couple that managed to sneak across. But, you know. Phil, you know what they're going to say. It's a Joyzy thing or whatever they say. <laughs> <laughs> So, but I, I have a question for Arvin real quick. Okay. Yeah. You, you mentioned earlier how you had a cat named Cisco, and Cisco was one of your favorite captains. Yes. Well, what is it about Deep Space Nine that draws you to it over, say, Next Generation, Voyager, or even Enterprise? Excluding um, the original series, of course. Yes. Um, because it ticks all of the boxes for me that makes a compelling sci-fi series. It wasn't, it did have some episodes that were, you know, episodic in nature, but it had these overall and un also underlying story arcs throughout from episode one to the very, very end of the series. And I, I, when I get invested in something, you know, TNG did have some moments of that, mm -hmm. but especially in the early seasons, it was very episode to episode to episode, kind of the monster of the week thing, which is fine. That has its place. You know, um, TNG would probably be my next favorite of the Star Trek series, but God, DS9 and you, and, and, and you talk about the characters that they had fleshed out. They all had these really intricate backstories and characters surrounding those backstories that you could invest in, that you could get involved in. When they mm -hmm. hurt, you got while they hurt and you felt with them. When they found joy, you celebrated with them. And to me, what made Cisco so awesome as a captain is he had like that street smart savvy of Kirk but yet he had times where he, he had that diplomacy of Picard. Mm -hmm. And then he had his own brand of just bad assery that just made you go, yes, Cisco. And he wasn't always right. He wasn't always perfect, but he was always 3000% sold out that he believed what he believed. And he tried to do the best that he could do for the situation. And I just, exactly. I loved it. I loved it. It's my favorite. And one of the things I always enjoyed about Deep Space Nine is the fact that they didn't just introduce the Dominion out of the blue. They planted the seeds for the Dominion early yeah. on. Yes. Yes. And all of it was like, you know, when you think it was going one way, it would do a twist. It would go completely opposite direction. And you're like, damn, that is smart. Mm -hmm. That is good writing. And it would just, it would hook you in. Mm -hmm. And I will never get tired of that series ever. I, I watch it religiously. Um, I just love it. It now my favorite sci-fi series ever is Babylon five, but to me, there's a lot of parallels. So it mm -hmm. kind of makes sense. If I love B five so much that I would love DS nine so much, even though they are unique and that they're, you know, you can enjoy one and enjoy the other and not feel like you're watching the exact same series, but God, yeah. DS nine. I love it. And and I, I love me some Cisco. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. I like Deep Space Nine. 
to me, if I rate them all, <clears throat> it for me will always be the original. I'm a Captain Kirk man, William Shatner, all every day, all day. Mm -hmm. But then for me, it is a close call. And I will give the edge, and people can hate me all they want. I'm going with second. my second favorite series in Star Trek is Voyager. Okay. I like Janeway. I'm sorry. And I had an, um, uh, um, uh, yeah, I had a crush on Jerry Ryan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jerry, when, when she joined that show, I loved her. Loved her. Loved her acting and, yeah. Yeah. I, I think everyone did. <laughs> my but after, I think, after oh, that, it no. is Deep Space Nine. Yeah. And I definitely loved it towards the last four years of the show. I thought it kicked on all cylinders, especially when they start bringing the Klingon. We got mm -hmm. Klingon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, I have Which, never been a fan of Picard. I I'm never shocked. Another, another shocking moment. Yeah. Picard. <laughs> you know, you know the story written there, and this is another reason I hate it. He's a Frenchman. But they try to portray him as an Englishman. A Frenchman is not going to drink a cup of Earl Grey. Not going to happen. And no uh, Frenchman yeah. is going to say they love Nelson at the Battle of Trafalgar. No, Trafalgar was the French and the Spanish against the English. That would be like the equivalent of, I don't know, saying you like uh, Cornwall over George Washington. And you're American. No, it don't happen. I did wonder why they didn't just go ahead and make him all out French. Or if they wanted to keep the Picard they got, just make him English. Never but, got that. And he can't throw a punch. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> he can't throw a punch. No. Cisco can throw a punch. Oh, yes, he can. Yes. Yes, yes, there ain't no can. question there. Cisco and is a Cisco badass. can kiss. Uh, Patrick Stewart, you need to work on that kissing, <laughs> man. So. But I'm yeah. going to get some hate later. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Patrick Stewart's had a wonderful career, Phil. It doesn't matter what you think about that. Yeah, well, you know what? I can do something that he can never do. What's you know that? What that is? Spin I can take yourself the hair around. off the top of my uh, head and I can pull it up and say, oh look, hair, I have hair. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> and let's everybody, let's admit this right now. Two people in Star Trek, uh, in TNG, William Riker should always have a beard. Oh, always. Yeah, right. well, yeah he did Cisco, look a little like Greg Brady on those yeah. early uh, <laughs> And Cisco, when he shaved his head and grew man. the goatee, that was awesome. Yeah. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. I have a hard time still to this day watching the first couple of seasons with him with that no goatee and him. Yes, he became yeah. the Cisco when yeah. he so, that head and grew that So you've got a picture, Phil, like in your house, mm -hmm. and it's of Riker. And and it's with the beard on. You're saying, "Oh, thank you, please. <laughs> I need this beard on all the time." When need I need the Riker. beard on, I don't know why. In uh, what was it, Nemesis? That they had insurrection. A, um, yeah. Insurrection. Yeah. Insurrection. That's where he yeah. shaved it. Yeah. Did he? Oh, I forgot that. I'm seeing, I'm seeing that movie yeah, in a while. But uh, yeah, I agree with you, Phil. Like, I like Janeway. I don't care what some people think. I. I didn't have I a problem liked, with uh, anyway. yeah. I liked Voyager. I thought Voyager was very good overall. Just haven't seen it in a long time. I think I still mm -hmm. say Enterprise is good too. I like Archer a lot, but I'm a Scott Bakula fan. So mm -hmm. I y'all, I just can't get into that song. What's up with that song? Oh, it's probably not the best uh, choice. But, no. Know, <laughs> it's Rod they Stewart, couldn't, right? They couldn't Rod get Rod Stewart, Stewart to know. sing it so they got the, the closest person <laughs> they, they could probably some, pull it I off. was just like, come on now, y'all. Star Trek, come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yet the end you credit know? theme would have been a perfect opening theme for the series. I, thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. So, I don't know. <laughs> you know who else deserved to have a beard? Spock from the original series because the other day... I had watched Mirror Mirror for the first time, and I gotta say, I think Spock looks better with a beard. Did they, a didn't they? No, I could be totally wrong. I think then they try it and said with his pointy ears, he looked too devilly with the beard. I don't know. I could be I don't totally know. mistaken that. I, I know at one point NBC didn't even want the character back after the original pilot because they thought he looked too satanic. 
Yeah, with the pointy ears and the yeah. you know the way they did his eyebrows, the makeup and everything, but would have been interesting. Yeah, seeing with a beard. If you hear yelling in the background, I apologize. Our kitty cat is really exploring now, so no <laughs> somebody problem. is trying to stop her from getting into stuff. <laughs> Mine are strangely calm right now. I, I expected to hear them tumbling in the room at any yeah. moment, but they're chilling right now. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it was all quiet up until I started to stream. And now my now she's not only got <laughs> from being shy, now she's getting active. Uh -huh. that's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So yeah, I have the design for the mirror version of Spock if it's cool if I pull it up. Because her, but I, I don't know how to share it, but you yeah. try it and I'll try sharing it. Yeah, right there. Yeah, uh, see, that looks good. Something. Yeah, there's just something about Leonard Nimoy having facial hair for Spock that just makes it look so good. Mm -hmm. You yeah. should see him. He did a TV uh, series. Uh, what was it called? Marco Polo. It was mm -hmm. late. 70s early 90s and he plays a mongolian and he has that goatee yeah long hair so nice. yeah he looks awesome so arwen mm -hmm. the big question okay are you Another ready big question oh uh, yes sir, i arwen. have a quite a Get few your shield ready <laughs> and I'm both barrels. A bit. Okay. <laughs> are you a native of the great state of georgia I am not. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Florida girl. I was born in Florida and I lived there for the first seven years of my life. And then we moved here to Georgia for a few years and we moved out to Colorado for a few years. Oh, I think we lived in when I was actually when I was like a baby, we lived, I think, in California for a year. You, um, you, got, you got out, though. You escaped. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy. And you, then we came back. I don't back want you getting any influences then, uh, over there. No, 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 no. I was too little to remember it. And then, at, God, when I was a teenager, my dad m moved him and my mom. We he had to get a job. He got on a job, a, a job with Saudi Arabia. And once, and then I moved over there for a while. And then I lived in England for a while. And then um, when I graduated high school, I came back to Georgia, and I've been here ever since. So you were in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Did you wear one of them? What do they call them? Uh, in Saudi Arabia, they're called an abaya. Yeah, there you go. There you go. No, you um, I didn't have to wear an, a full abaya because I was a foreigner. Uh, and foreigners get a little more grace in that regard than the native women. But I had to make sure whatever I wore, it had to be down to my elbows and past my knees. So we did have to dress modestly. We just didn't have to wear, you know, the the complete abaya. We didn't have to have the veil with our face covered. Gotcha. We didn't have to do that as as foreign women. Hmm. But every other rule, um, you know, no driving at the time. Now I think there's an, uh, some areas in Arabia. I think women can drive now. Yeah. But they, they, they. at the time, no women could drive. No women could work. Um, if you took a bus, it was parishioned off in the middle. The, the the male workers were in front and then the females were in the back um yeah that's that's so we had to we had to do all that but <laughs> but if I remember correctly I'm not sure correct me if I'm wrong then Saudi Arabia if a woman before I know now they changed it get caught driving not only is it a criminal offense but in some cases, they would behead a woman for driving a car. That's crazy. Um, I'm not yeah. sure if that's true. Again, you know how rumors get spread, but that's why I'm asking. You were there. So I never know. knew anyone that had been caught driving. Um, so I don't. I can't confirm that. I do know that my father personally did witness a man get his his hand removed for stealing, and he did witness a beheading. Oof. A oh. man had murdered someone. Man. And that, you know, because they do, or at least again at the time, it's been a long time since I've been there, but at the time they did that stuff in public. Oh boy. Um, to deter other people from doing it. Um, but I, I've, I have not heard of a, of a, of that happening to a woman who got caught driving. However, 
they do take their rules very, very seriously. And if you are caught and it's obvious, it's, it's not like you go through a big trial and stuff here, you know, innocent till proven guilty. No, if you're caught, you're guilty. Mm -hmm. And the appropriate punishment would, would happen. So how long were you, uh, your stay in Saudi Arabia? I was there for four years Ooh. and I was there for a year because the, the, I, I was in Dakaran and they will offer, uh, education for foreigners up to ninth grade only. And then after ninth grade, you have to leave the kingdom to continue any kind of education. And we debated between me coming back to the States and boarding school or me going somewhere closer to boarding school. Well, it's a 15 hour flight back to Georgia versus mm -hmm. an eight hour flight to, you know, England and Europe. So I went to a boarding school in England for the rest of my uh, high school education. Mm -hmm. And then once I graduated, I came home to Georgia and I've been here ever since. <laughs> Gotcha. Been it a long time, been, but I've been. It must have been still. a relief, though, when you left Saudi Arabia. I'm not saying it's not a has its own beauties, I guess, in some ways. It does. It does. But it must have been a kind of like a relaxing feeling once you got to England. Um, it, it was funny because I never thought of it that way. I guess because I got so used to it. Mm. You know, uh, the the and I would go back and forth. I would go to England. For the school year and then on like vacation and stuff like that i'd have to go back to saudi and I, i'm amazed i wasn't sick all the time because it would be so hot in saudi and then you'd get off that plane and that cold air in england would hit you and i again i got used to it but the first time i went there i was like damn am i in russia what <laughs> is this cold you know because even in the north georgia mountains it doesn't get as cold here in georgia as it does over in england but again you adapted but we we lived on a compound. We didn't actually live within um, the native Saudis, and the companies did that, mm -hmm. uh, and the Saudis wanted that. It wasn't just that the companies wanted to keep us separate. The Saudis wanted to keep us separate. Mm -hmm. So every company who has, you know, who provides um, employment for what they call kawajis, that's basically foreigners, they have their own compound and in, in some of those compounds women you know if they were big enough women could drive and women could wear whatever they wanted and you know in the compounds it was so separate that you could kind of do what you wanted but um saudia compound wasn't it, it was separate but it, it it was i don't remember you know no i didn't learn to drive over there so i wasn't doing any driving and you know nothing like that but so you are separated to an extent, mm -hmm. but when you go out into the towns, you are out amongst the Saudi natives and you have to do as the Saudis do, you know? Gotcha. Yeah. That was a way when you me. went to, sorry, go ahead, Mike, go ahead. Yeah, thanks. So this actually reminds me of older brother DJ who's not here, but he actually was stationed in Bahrain as a, master of arms in the navy a few years ago okay where he basically kind of had to do the same thing that you did where anytime he was off base he had to follow pretty much all of the customs yeah. that native people did especially during the time of ramadan oh yes where yes. i think at least one of many things was that he couldn't wear any short sleeves or short pants he had to wear long sleeves and mm -hmm. pants when he was off base and he couldn't eat out in public or at least not during the day right or something like that mm -hmm. i don't really remember what exactly he had to do but i know that he still had to follow suit because he's, he's wearing the uniform and wanted to make sure everyone was cool yeah I mean, you, you know, and, and I mean, I understand it. You are in someone else's country. You are mm -hmm. a guest in their country. Even if you mm -hmm. are living there, you are a guest. And so you need to abide by their laws and their rules and their, whether you like it or not, that's what you have to do. I mean, that just, you know, kind of makes sense. So, uh, yeah, yeah. We, you know, when we were out shopping, if it was prayer time, shop some clothes for 20 minutes and you go and you'd sit on the sidewalk, you'd wait, you know, um, un until they were done praying. And then you could go back in the shop when they opened up again, you know, that kind of thing mm -hmm. five times a day. 
Oh yeah, I remember that. Mm-hmm. I don't remember specifically that, but I remember the praying five times a day now that you mm-hmm. mentioned it. Called a prayer. Yep. So it was an experience. <laughs> But yes, I have been in Georgia for a very long time. So I do consider myself at this point a Georgia girl, even though in my heart, I am still partly a Florida girl, too. (laughs) Well, that's the thing. Is there such a thing now as a native Floridian? I mean, after all the Yankees from New York and the, you know, most of the northern states fled their uh, states to go to Florida. All the snowbirds. uh, (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I don't, you know, I, I always used to play this game when I traveled if, and I go down near, I've been to Georgia and I've been to Florida. Mm-hmm. Uh, the game is find yourself a, a native Florida Indian. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you're at like the you know, McDonald's or Burger King and you see somebody, you know, from Florida, you ask them, oh, you're from Florida. Are you a native born? Oh, no, I'm from New York. Well, yeah, there you go. Well, and that's why Florida, even though it is technically a Southern state, it's not necessarily considered a deep South Southern state because there are so many influences from all over that have kind of blended into this unique, what I call beach culture. Even if you're not on the beach in Florida, there's still, you know, that, that permeation of it. And it's, it's an amazing state. It really is. But you can call them Yankees. I do. I well, know, and the there's Yankees. There are Yankees, there are Southerners, there are Cubans, there are, I mean there's people from all over. And in then there's Florida. the weirdos from Disney. Yeah, so it, it Florida is really its own unique entity when it comes to yeah. being part of the US. That's I true. Guess. Same goes with California with how many people have moved out to California. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How many 40. native Californians are out there? We no can't get rid of native most Californian. of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I was I mean, born in California just, and left when uh, I was 19. Yeah, 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 I blame that on Gavin Newsom for obvious reasons. Well, <laughs> Mussolini, Mussolini is something. Yeah, you heard me, YouTube. Mussolini. When I was on the trip and I was going right. through Georgia, and I remember we made a stop, and I mispronounced the town. You know, Because you have to remember, if you're below the Mason-Dixon line, Depending on where you're at, languages as well as words change. Now, if there was the name of the town, everybody else would say Martinez. But now, no, in Georgia, it's Martinez. Martinez. Uh You know, know, hey, I I understand it. I joke with uh, Mike's brother there, Paul. He lives in Stanton. But we say Stoughton. Mm-hmm. You know, we have towns here, like there's a town called Houston. Everybody outside the state says Houston, but we correct them. You know. <laughs> then we then we get into verbal complex. Like if somebody's from, I know everybody says this Arkansas. We don't yeah. say Arkansas. We say Arkansas. Arkansas. We, Arkansas. You know, there's no W in that mean. word. You know, as much as they want to put it in there, it's not there. Or this is how you can tell from what there, we, we call Eastern Shore from opposed to the rest of Maryland and Virginia. We say Maryland. We don't say Maryland. Maryland. Interesting. Yeah. Just well, at least you don't say Arkansas. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Just like I mean, here in North Carolina, there's a lighthouse. And you look at the spelling for the name of this lighthouse, you would say Corolla. But no, the locals around here call it Corolla. Uh-huh. Kind of a hot take. Speaking of uh, Maryland, I'm convinced that they're with the worst drivers. <laughs> I don't know, man. California has some bad ones on the freeway. I mean, so does Virginia. 40, we have 43 I mean, million people about that, there. But I, I, think- I just wish they would put themselves in a cannon and just go to another island somewhere. <laughs> <up there. laughs> yeah, go to an island where they sell nothing but... Um, non GMO vegan, uh, beyond whatever. Oh my god, you know, uh, I, I think there was that cal- story in California where that woman was running and she smelled meat uh-huh. and she got so upset about it. I think that actually happened in California. I think it might have been Northern California, I'm not sure, but that just made me laugh. I want to, I want to go to her door and say, mm, Look at the meat, smell it. it. Come on, was it someone from PETA? 
Uh, I don't think so. I don't, but speaking, I have no problem. I, a so couple years ago, I, I think. It, sorry, Mike. I got Mike. Go ahead. Yeah, sorry. I would have no problem sending her a steak in the mail. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. There was there was a couple years ago. I think it was 2018 or 2019. Peter was mad at KFC and they were protesting. And I remember they've been I mad walking, at McDonald's too. I, I was walking <laughs> out and these people were, you know, going up to me. How can you eat that? Why are you doing that? And I said, and I grabbed the drumstick <laughs> and I started plugging <laughs> into it. I said, because it's finger looking good. <laughs> I wish you had a video of that. Bro. Yeah. Awesome. Look, look, look. Yeah. You're not going to get a southerner. I don't care what anybody says. Fried chicken will forever be a glorious food. Yes. The Colonel, yes. God rest his soul. Yeah. Yes. Finger licking. Uh, I don't know. Publix fried chicken is pretty good too. Uh, you put yeah. say there, there's a Yankee and you coming out. <laughs> no, Pub Publix is from Florida, Phil. Uh, but that's still Yankee. Uh, <laughs> yes. you know, I can let you slide if you said Popeyes. I'm not a fan oh, much of Popeyes, yeah. but they're. I've never eaten at Popeyes. I heard yeah. it's good, but it's not bad. Speaking but I have a quick question for Arwen. Okay. At the end of a long day, what makes you the happiest? Good question. Ooh, what makes me the happiest? Well. Oh, at the end of a long day. <clears throat> that is a really good question because night times are hard for me, to mm. be honest. Um, I mean, I can go to, I've, I've had moments where I've gone to bed content and happy. But to be fair, it's, I'm just getting real. It's been a long time, I think, that I've, finished a day and gone, wow, that was a day well done. I feel just so content and happy and fulfilled. Hmm. And part of that honestly stems from my husband's death. I still to this day do not like having nights by myself. I just don't. Um, it's been over three years and it's something I'm still not used to. So I guess I'm getting there. So I guess those times when I have felt content and I have felt happy, it's been feeling loved and feeling um, reached out to, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. having those moments with people where I've had a connection with someone and, you know, I always love to be told good night. It's like my thing. Mm -hmm. If, you know, if, if particularly from certain people, if I can be told good night, then I can go to bed with a smile on my face. Even if it's just an emoji, you know, an emoji good night or have a good night or that, that sets me right. And I, I know it's, you know, I know I'm, I'm usually very upbeat and I'm very positive and I know it's probably not the most positive answer, but it's the most real one that I can give. So yeah, I'm still adapting in some ways. No, well, you answered the question because I can completely understand. I've lost my mother two years ago and there, there are those days where it's like you have to find something to be happy about it instead yeah. of, you know, letting that cloud hang over your head all day and, yeah, exactly. And and for the most part, I I I do that. You know, I love streaming. I love conversing with, you know, the the friendships that I've made. I love watching people game and watching them stream and, you know, I love all that. But I'm still getting to the point where I need to to learn to find things in my life that used to satisfy me that don't now. Mm -hmm. because they remind me of, of a different time in my life that I just do not have anymore. So I'm still learning that. I'm still growing with that. I'm still learning to, to find it where I can have that full day and I can have full autonomy over that day and be completely satisfied and completely content. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm learning. I'm, I'm moving in the right direction, but I'm learning. So Arwen, um, 
what is one thing that you wish Google would uh, change about YouTube? Something you just really don't like, is it? I wish it would just kill the algorithm and freaking let channels be what they are. Right. I agree. You know, this whole, mm -hmm. well, you got to do this to feed the algorithm. You got to do this. It didn't used to be that way. No, it did not. And, it and I, I, and I think, you know, you hear, you hear about a lot of people, you know, when they talk about, you know, subs disappearing and, and views disappearing, yes. it, it's all connected in that mess. And mm -hmm. I don't think it's, and let people watch what they want. That's right. You know, if they're going to click on a channel, let it count. They, they tell us always rules for thee, but not for me. Like you can't say this, but these people can say this. Like, it's yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you have rules and regulations, uh, regulations, tighten those up yes. and yeah. be specific. None of this exactly. nebulous, blah, blah, blah. Yep. I agree. Yeah. As well as hold everyone by that same standard where yes. it's the top creators mm -hmm. that can literally get away with streaming yeah. possibly illegal and dangerous activity true but exactly. then there's smaller channels mm -hmm. like us or even much bigger channels that kind of fight the algorithm so to speak mm -hmm. that get the most hate for it or just outright get canceled yeah yes so get those little grubby hands out of all those pies and just let it be the beautiful platform that it could be mm -hmm. exactly. Because we, we've seen it. You're with Loki in the mornings. You're with Fat Steven and Arlena and Daryl and Jester and so many other channels. Mm -hmm. If you just let us all grow as the community that we are, yeah, we, we could all prosper. I Exactly. And I like to say, if everybody subscribed to everybody else, we would all be monetized. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, and I and I know yes. that, you know, there's just there's not enough hours in the day for everyone to watch everyone else. I get no. that. But this whole nope. stupid algorithm system, especially when they implemented the shorts, give me a break. Just let it yeah. be what it what it is. I'm well, then we the shorts. I'm then we also have right. Go ahead, Phil. No, I was just saying I'm not a I'm not a fan of shorts. Enough. I'm not either. Make, it's yeah. if you're making a 15 or a five minute video, to me it, it seems like you're not just wasting your time. You're wasting my time. I mean, I know there's some things, some little topics you might be able to say real quick, but I'd rather watch a person do a 30 or 40 minute stream. And for me, that's too short. I like long streams, mm -hmm. but a 30 or 40 minute video or live stream, I get more from it than a short, sweet five minute. To me, it's like the only purpose of a short is a quick click. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But that's just my opinion, you know. We all have one. Yeah, and and people think that they're going to get they're going to do better because they write do these shorts and they write. And and the one thing is, Arwen, and I'm sure you've noticed this that even some people that we even know in our own community, I'm not going to name names, but they the some of the content that they put out is just so fake. Their re expressions, their reactions, the fact that they want to talk about things like, oh, well, you know, if I get super chats and I can get a down payment on a house and things like that, but I don't want you guys to do that. Like you hear that on their mm -hmm. streams and you go, mm, why am I still sub to this stream? And even though I know you or it, it doesn't make any sense. And so if people are, I just feel a lot of people should just put out the best entertainment on their channel as possible. They don't sure. have to be fake. They don't have to be shady. Yeah. Well, that's why one of the things that Loki that. stresses during his YouTube talks is be authentic, be yourself. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yes, yeah. you and you mean really it. have to. Mean you it. really, especially yes. with with this with this type of platform and with social media, that is one of the things that I look for. Is I look for people that are the same off of their channel as they are on their channel. Exactly. And if I, you know, I, and if I kind of get a win that they're not, then, okay, you might put out entertaining content, but that's all you will be to me is just entertaining mm -hmm. content. You will never be, you know, a, a person per se that I have any interest getting to know outside of that. And I've been very lucky. The people that I've made bonds with and that I call very, very close friends, mm -hmm. um, they are the same. They are absolutely yes. the same. 
on, mm -hmm. you know, on their channel as they are off. Yep. And I, I think most people are at this point, but yeah, I mean, you all, you always have, you have to be careful with those. And again, it's, it's up to the individual, you know, if, if, if you don't care, then that's fine. Then go watch, you know, go watch those channels. I got no problem with that. Right. But I know, like I said, for me, I'm, I'm looking for something realer. I'm, I'm not looking mm -hmm. for, mm -hmm. um, you know, well, I, I mean, I'm mainly here for the friendships. So that's, right. that's what some people aren't. They're just here to watch and, you know, some entertainment and get a fulfillment that way. And that's fine. Yes. But I know for me personally, I, I am here for, for, for realness, if you will. So. Mm -hmm. Well, one thing is for sure, you're unique mm -hmm. and a special individual. And yes, I use that Southern term and I threw in there special. Oh, you mean me? Yes. Oh. No, no. I, I mean cash money. Oh, I, I mean like, cash money. Oh, okay. I'm like, why is he talking to me? <laughs> yeah, I'm short bus special. That's what it oh, is. No. <laughs> you know, I, I met Darwin way back when uh, I was stalking uh, Fat Steven, and you're in that panel. Uh -huh. And you, you never, you know, a lot of people don't get my humor. <laughs> but you got my humor right away. I could say things to you that somebody else I said to, they think I'm insulting them when no. I'm just tell you, teasing and joking, playing around, having of fun. Course. You know, yeah. sometimes in the ch see, I'm not a person, I'll do some streams with people, mm -hmm. you know, most people here, but uh, I really thrive in the chat, you know. Mm -hmm. The chat, and, and that's where I met you, and that's you know that's where I talked to you a lot. It wasn't until you were like over there with Daryl and them that I actually got to. Oh, this is the person behind, uh, you know. Uh huh. Yeah, and I will say you have that unique special laugh. Uh, she does. And I'm going to bring up. Something. There's nobody who laughs like Arwen. No, 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 no. You know what? I, I don't care what the situation is. I don't care what you know. You could be in the church. You can probably hear her laughing, giggling all the way through. And you want to know something? I bet you sometimes she tries to fight it, but the more she fights it, the more she laughs. I, do. I hate my laugh, y'all. I do. But I do. I'm going to say right here, right now, is a first. I haven't heard you do a scream and say you spilled some wine. <laughs> so, and on a film it cracking stream, she did not scream and spill her wine. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> no, no, no screaming and spilling wine right now. <laughs> nope. But thank you for those words. I, I do appreciate that. It honestly that means a lot. It does. Cause I and, and, and you know when anytime I'm in Daryl's live stream and you're there or I'm seeing you on uh, uh I can't say sugar and spice, man. Oh god lordy. That channel. <laughs> that channel. You do know when I'm going in there, I'm gonna still be a Phil McCracken. Yes, you know? we wouldn't expect any less. You know, right. grumpy Absolutely. and everything, and <laughs> well, yeah. you, I, 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 you know, do you remember Sesame Street, The uh, Grouch? Yes, that'd be me. Of course. Do you, do you remember the two old men and, and the Muppet Show up in the yeah, balcony? the hecklers. Uh. Yeah, that, that'd be me. I'm both of them. <laughs> you know, I, I, I would, I would sit up there in the balcony and laugh at people all day long. You know, people are, you know, I understand why cats stare at people the way they do. Because uh, they look at us and they think, you guys are crazy. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. It's, um, it's now don't spill your wine. wine. Don't ruin it now. No, no. I won't. <laughs> <and that's not laughs> oh, not at all. But no, it's been, it's, I, I, I have enjoyed my, Tenure so far on YouTube, and I don't have any plans to stop. Stop yet. Awesome. Well, anybody have Very any nice. questions they want to ask Arwen before she has to go? I, I just want to say I enjoy hearing your laughter. You know, it doesn't matter if you're with Fat Steven, if you're with Loki, if you're with Daryl or Arlena <laughs> or whoever you're with. I love hearing your laughter because laughter is contagious, and there are. Thank 
things that you all talk about and we all start laughing in the chat. We do. Thank you. Um, um, I'm glad. I don't, I, I don't know why y'all listen to us half the time because we just talk about whatever, <laughs> but we have a good time and I'm glad y'all do too. But that's what makes it so great. It's like walking into your local pub or your local, yeah. you know, dive bar and, you know, just sitting there and having a long conversation about whatever comes to mind. Yeah, I agree with that. I, I agree with that. And it, it's funny, Daryl's always said, you know, the back tube is kind of like the cheers of the community and he's not wrong. He's not wrong at all. And Arlena kind of adopted that, you know, adopted that for sugar and spice and, you know, I know with our Wena Activated, we get a little more structured. We have a set subject, but we still kind of, you know, fly with our own opinions and stuff. But life is too short, y'all. It can it can be gone at the drop of a hat. So you might as well enjoy it while you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, yep. so. And you do know one of the reasons I do when you're over in Daryl or Sugar and Spice, or it's few times I catch you on Fat Stevens now because I don't get to get up in the morning that much. Mm -hmm. I'm there to count how many times you laughed during the stream. <laughs> that, that's the whole thing of my day. Oh you know? my god. And, and always, always, always <laughs> take the over. 25 <laughs> over guarantee you win. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> now you see, I knew I made her really laugh really good. Because there was a little snort there. <laughs> I heard the snort. <laughs> there, <laughs> I got down again. That's true. Extreme <laughs> successful. Extreme successful. Okay, yes. you got a snort. Heard, <laughs> you heard Arwen snort. No. It's the but first, y'all. Well, do that. when she's out of control, you know something's going to happen with wine if her cam is on. So <laughs> <laughs> it just will. <laughs> yeah, I've spilled more wine on myself from laughing than uh, I can get, care to count. <laughs> oh, well, Lordy. before you have to go, Arwen, is there anything you want to promote or, you know, anything you want to say? It's the floor is yours. <sighs> well, uh, Wednesday at six o'clock, Sugar and Spice, uh, mm -hmm. which we dual stream it on Arlena's channel and my channel. Uh, which yeah. used to be kind of confusing until um, she moved to restream. And then the, we actually can pull up both chats on the screen as one big chat. So everyone can see everyone and, and that, that keeps them happy. <laughs> so we've got that. Um, and then on Thursday, we've got Arwena activated uh, at six o'clock, which we do every other Thursday. It's not every Thursday. Um, cause when I first started, I was streaming nine, 10, 11 times a week and it just, it, it consistently for months and it got to be too much and I pulled back a lot mm -hmm. and I'm already, you know, I'm streaming with back tube on, on Tuesdays, on uh, Tuesday nights at seven. Um, and then we've got sugar and spice and now we have our wiener activated and then Friday nights with back tube and then Saturdays with, and it's just like, mm, I don't, neither one of us need want to get in that pattern again. Um, but yeah, back tube Tuesday night, sugar and spice Wednesday. Are we going to activate it Thursday? Um, I think we are doing a back tube on Friday and then back to begin on Saturday. And, and I may be streaming in there on my own channel in there somewhere <laughs> <laughs> I have to figure that out. So uh, I'm going to ask this question and I'm kicking myself as I'm doing this. Okay. All right. Explain to me, first of all, who came up with Arlena activated and why is she activated? And uh, third question in that, how do we deactivate her? Okay. Arwena activated. Um, I came up with that. Uh, well, I, actually, I not, I didn't come up with Arwena. Um, we both, I, I don't, was it, was it Chris Persia? I think it's a combination of both of our names, Arwen and Arlena. And so many people would call her Arwen and call me Arlena and then they would get it because it's the A, the A throws people off. So I think he called this Arwena. It's Arwena one time. And then when I was visiting her in December, I said, you know, it'd be really cool if we just had, I said, we've got our sugar and spice, which is just us relaxing, talking, you know, we usually don't have a topic. We just kind of ourselves 
I said, but it'd be kind of cool if we had a show where we had a set topic, either a social issue, a political issue, pop culture issue, whatever we feel we really want to deep dive into. And we just, we, you know, presented the facts of the situation and then gave our opinions. And she's like, yeah, that'd be really cool. And I'm like, yeah, it would be like, Arwena activated. And we both <laughs> looked at each other and we went, oh my God, Arwena activated. <laughs> I, so, when I hear it, I think Wonder Twinge power. That's kind of the vibe we got. We're like, yeah. we're not just Arwena, we're Arwena activated. We're, oh my God. So that's how that came about. <laughs> but news to me. That yeah. you and Arlena actually met in December? Um, for the first time, yeah. We okay, is for the that first time city and location still standing? Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I hopefully will be going back at some point this. I, I, I have a trip planned in October. I'm gonna make, but before then, I would like to go see uh, Arlena again. Yeah. Yep. You're planning, so you're going to Virginia. Yeah, at some point this year, yes. Gotcha. Before gotcha. October. Yeah. Yeah. Virginia never be the same again. <laughs> never. Poor Virginia. Never. But uh <laughs> I'm just I'm just teasing. You know that. <laughs> well, teasing. truth is truth. <laughs> <laughs> it is well, what it is. Yep. Well, I want to say before you go, if anybody wants to say their goodbyes to Arwen, say your goodbyes or Farewells. So, you know, because her time is short. Yeah. And I do appreciate her being here and Thank giving you. us a little extra time. I appreciate it. Thank you for so. having me. I, I've had a ball. I, I'm very honored that you asked me on. And I mean that. I appreciate it so much. And I had a great time. I yeah. really did. Y'all are great. So, well, you're a great person. And I couldn't think after Matt Risman, I said to myself, who can I get? Who would, you know, and, <laughs> It hit me, but I also <laughs> hit myself. I, I, I said, I, I'm going to ask Arlen, but I could not bring myself to say both you and uh, Arlen at the same time. No. Yeah, Arthur Lena, no, no, no. That would have been too much for Phil McCracken. And Phil McCracken we have to do it at some point. We have what? to do it at some point. <laughs> oh, man. Arlena and That would be a fun oh, stream. Boy. Hey, it Cash, where you been, it, Cash? Hey, Cash. Uh, Cash exactly, exactly. It, it will it. break YouTube. Look, it broke <laughs> Daryl. It broke Daryl. Daryl is, let's be honest. <laughs> Daryl has somehow, if you look at the streams before, he was, you know, really talkative. But now, <laughs> when Arwen and uh, Arlena go at it, and they go and they do their thing, he kind of sits back and just says, I shut my mouth and I know my role. <laughs> He lets us just go off. <laughs> so, except when his dogs start their howling. Then yes. Then, then you know. You know. Yes, exactly. So, but uh, I thank you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You are one of the people in this out here on YouTube that can put a smile on my face any day of the week. Thank mm -hmm. you. I and I know you mentioned this, so I am going to say this, but I don't mean this as a goodbye, but I'm going to say for you, good night, since you like to hear the words good night. Oh, thank you, Phil. You know, and if anybody thinks Phil's getting soft, you're crazy. Yes. You're crazy. You are a little soft. <laughs> Go hug your teddy bear, Phil. <laughs> I got your teddy bear. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, thank you all again so much for having me. And unfortunately, yeah, I do have to go. But I I, I've enjoyed it. And mwah! Y'all have a wonderful night, and you too. I'll, we'll we'll talk I'll again see soon, Arwen. I'll try yes. not to be a stranger. I promise. Good night, Good. everybody, and remember what I say: I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, y'all. Thank you.